Hello everybody. This is Diane from Diane's Diamond Painting. And how is everybody tonight? I hope everybody's doing wonderful in the day, the morning, the afternoon, whenever you're watching this video. And today, guess what? We have a post review. Yes. It's a big one. <laughs> I have actually finished Secret Garden by Josephine Wall from Diamond Art Club. It's a 70 by 88 centimeter and it's a square. And even be more shocking, the number of drills on this were 96,678. Holy moly. Now, this is the first, I call it, real square canvas that I've done. Meaning, before I knew all about the legal license canvases and quality company with quality drills, I did, like everybody did, bought them wherever you bought your canvases to. Now, I didn't always buy cheap ones. Now, not as expensive as this, now mind you. But you know what I thought was a good price for them, say 30, 40 bucks, maybe 50. And um, so I figured all the, everything would be good in quality, but I could never get a square canvas to do what it should do, which meant the drills would pop off. And not knowing uh, about YouTube at the time, didn't know about like these little tabby things and all this stuff that they shouldn't be there on your drills and yada yada. So I finally decided to do this one and I have lots of, well, lots of squares from Diamond Art Club and bought them because I love the pictures. Said somehow I'll do them. But I did this one because there was um, one of the girls on um, YouTube. Laura from Anxiety Art Adventures was having a J wall along. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm actually getting over my cold. Whoop, whoop. So I said, okay, this is the only one I got. I'm going to do it. So it's done. I'm so impressed with myself. <laughs> and... I guess it's not your typical J wall picture because usually they're more bluish and ethereal, but this one is Secret Garden with by the from the book of the same name. And um I could actually like here, like you see the lines multiplace, multiplace here, all these lines. And I didn't do like let me see. Can you see the bottom? Oh my god, we can't even see the bottom until I take it off the table. Like, I didn't do these small sections. Like, that would probably be the normal size for a section. I did this baby in 16 sections, which gave me, like, say, here. Say, I had a section was. This big by this big. No, yeah, maybe. This big by this big. So it gave me a bigger area to do. So I didn't have to change my colors out so much. I wasn't doing just two of this color or three of that color. I was doing a lot more and I could always multiplace and stuff. So I think that too helped me to do this canvas quicker than I ever imagined I could do it. I started on March the 1st and I finished the day actually, uh, March the 27th. And I just think the thing is beautiful. It's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Um, like, let's see now. Oh, it's heavy. So you got the shine of just the diamonds alone. And then you got... Oh, hang on. I can't even hang on to it right now. Because it's just so big. Then, like, you got your 
ABs. All that extra sparkle. Let's see if I can uh, zoom you in a bit more. See that sparkle? See that extra sparkle? See the white ones that sort of look pinkish? Well, that's called an Aurora Borealis diamond. And the gold one's next to it, too. Where's my thumb? Here we go. These here. They got an, uh, uh, like a rainbowish type of coating on them that makes them shine even brighter than all the rest. But, uh, yeah. It's just, wow, gorgeous. And all the diamonds shine so much anyway, or the drills, diamonds, whatever we want to call them. Um, it's just absolutely amazing. I didn't have any um, problem with the canvas. Um, I did have two, let me see if I can show you this. Two, because I got washi down there too. I did have two symbols. I know. See the L here, this L, and this corner thing that looks like a fatter L. So they were in the areas together. And me having like bad eyesight, well, that gave me a little bit of trouble, so. I'd have to do that in the daylight so I'd have a better view on it all. So that wasn't too bad. <clears throat> but what surprised me the most about this kit is the amount of trash. This is a very this is a large tray. You can see by the size of my hand how big this tray is. Um I don't know if I can actually. Well, you got some bits there that are just trash, trash. Uh, what I found with, now you might be looking at these and going, hmm, they're not too bad. But they either had little specks hanging off the edge. Or they had holes in them, in the top. And if they got, I mean, oh, it's hard to see, but I, mean, I don't know why, if I can. Let me see if I can pick one out to show you what I mean by a knobbly bit. Doopy doop boop. Oh, here's one. Here's a good one. Why now? I lost it. Oh, why now? Hola. All right. Let's go by hole here now. There's a hole. Oh, hang on. Let's go back this way. See? hole in the top so you're not going to use that and most of them that was the problem with them well half half I suppose half was the problem I'm just trying to get one of the tray now that's uh, had some broken ones too And, oh no, let me see this one. Oh, if I could grab it right, I could show you. Oh no. Okay, that one's good. Let's see. So can you see around the edge of this here on this side? And this side here? There's like this extra little bit on the sides. So when you're doing a, a, a square, there's no room for, there's no room for extra little bits because then the drills won't fit together right. It'll leave you funny gaps, uh, lines will be crooked. Um, so I was really surprised with that. And then, uh, what was the number color? 3371, it's a dark brown. This whole container, now, I had a lot more than that, but this whole container, they were all stuck together, like two or three together at a time. And when I took them apart, like you can see, look, they had her sticking to the side. That bag was extremely staticky. 
for whatever reason. But other than that, this thing was wonderful to work on. It's an absolutely gorgeous picture. We got, I don't know, it's so heavy. We have our butterflies, butterfly, butterfly, our bunny rabbits, all the flowers. Now the sides, as she's going through, the, she's unlocked the door. See, here's the key in her hand. Hand worked it well. Her dress is so pretty. It's got uh, white ABs and a cream color. Well, this is the shell over her, her dress, or I don't know. You've got this bird on her hand. We've got a squirrel up here in the tree. We've got a swing. Now, these are supposed to be steps, but they're not so well defined if you look at the original picture. And this is supposed to be like a bench, but it's not so well defined on the picture. But, hey, they can't get everything out. <coughs> but I absolutely love it. If you can get it, I would say buy it. And maybe buy a smaller one as your first square. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have done a smaller one from a good company that has that is known for having good drills and um, you might find out that you actually like doing squares now that you didn't like before but this picture is just so gorgeous um, I gotta find some place to hang it up because it's a sin to put it back in the box it's just oh and I mean, like even here, now you're seeing all this sparkle. And that's not ABs, that's just normal black. Black and brown. Could be dark blue too. Because uh, I had a full bag of 310s left over and a full bag of another green left over. Because they had four or five bags of them. And uh, there were so many bright colors in here. It's unbelievable. And the ABs here and here and all sparkly through here and there. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I like the way her face turned out because looking at it even now myself, uh, without looking through the camera, it just looks a little bit uh, wonky. But where it looks further away in the camera viewfinder, or the phone viewfinder, I should say, She's got a beautiful face, and it rendered well. Like, I mean, you can see the detail in her hands, and yeah, and the bird just sitting there is just always gorgeous. Yeah, the bunny rabbit with the little cotton tail, yeah. Another one poking out from the flowers. Lots of flowers, and grass, and trees, and yeah. And then, like, this side is, is all the vines and stuff growing up out, out the wood. So you can see the wood door here, right? Same thing on this side. Yeah. <clears throat> so, except for the trash I had. and um, But now, with that being said, here are the leftover drills. Oh, yeah, here's the two bags of full ones I had. Here are the leftover drills. It looks like I got enough to do another kit with, right? Yeah. So I had... Lots to uh, lots to do the kit with. And as you see, what I did here is I actually poured drills back into the bag that they come, they come in. And I, right now I just leave them wrapped in the bag. Secret Garden. Um, at some point, at some point, quote, quote fingers or air quotes around that, I plan on doing some kind of a storage system. Now, I did take the ABs out and put them with all my other leftover ABs and uh, have some kind of civilized storage system. But right now, I do it like that in case I um, cut the sides off, if I frame it or put it up. And um, then my legend is gone. So that way, I'll uh, I have the sticker. Stick, I saved the stickers. Oh, I know it's a bit nuts, but there you go. Put them in my logbook. And then I'll still know uh, 
Mutt goes away in case something falls off. And you cannot seal a Diamond Art Club because they've said lately that if you do seal their one of their paintings, their canvases, then your warranty is vo uh, uh, voided. So, <clears throat> if for some reason, something should happen to this canvas over a while, and I've done everything right with it, it's dried out or whatever, and everything fell off of it. Well, they're supposed to either replace it or um, refund your money. So, don't seal your diamond arts unless you don't care about the warranty. Me, if I need to seal it, I seal it. But don't do it like me, just do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> All right, there you go. So I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10. Just because um, of all the trash and those severely staticky drills. Oh my, I might just throw them in the garbage because it's just too much to deal with. So there you go. Secret Garden by Josephine Wild. The first one I've done belonged to her. N needless to say, I will do another at some point. But my next kit is going to be a round one. Just because I need a break. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm going to let you go now. And I hope you're all having a good day. Hope everybody is healthy and safe. And let's pray for the Ukraine that that foolishness, I'll call it foolishness, but I got other words for it, if you know what I'm saying. But I'll be polite. That it ends very quickly and the world sort of goes back to normal. We can all do we can all hope for that. All right, everybody. People love the channel. I say good night. Love you all. Bye.